Welcome to City Field as the Mets open a three game series against the Kansas City Royals. You know the Royals lost 106 games last year but right now they're the hottest team in baseball coming off a 7 and 0 homestand. Back at City Field Friday night first of three against the Kansas City Royals for the New York Mets who have taken the field. Luis Severino third Mets start second one in this building. That's laced to center field but right at Harrison Bader who picks it off for the first down. Bobby Wood Junior man what a homestand two home runs six RBI's seven runs scored a stolen base and Witt lofts this one into right center field back of the gap goes Bader he'll get there and he puts it away two out. Pasquantino missed considerable time last year with a shoulder injury mm -hmm. and he muscles one behind second but Lindor is there to leap and grab it and that retires the side and the Royals go in order. Middle of the first inning, Kansas City, nothing, and the Mets coming up. For Michael Walker, he pitched one year for the Mets in 2020. Had to have been a blur. That was that 60-game season. But the last time he faced the Mets was 2019, so he has not been back, at least on the mound, since leaving. Facing Brandon Nimmo to lead off. That'll work. Melendez brings it down in left field, one away. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. Pame straight up, the pitch swing and a chopper over the mound. Right behind the bag, Adam Frazier has it. He'll sidearm flip to first. His throw is a little bit high, but Vinny able to reach and make the grab and keep his toe on the bag to get the out as Adam had to go far to his right, make an off-balance throw from right in front of second base. Listen to this ovation for Francisco Lindor. This is cool. He's getting the Trey Turner treatment. And this became a thing on social media the last few days. This is great. He's getting, in some precincts here, a standing ovation. Here's the 0-2. And a breaking ball hit the other way. Left field, playable for MJ. Back a few paces, under it, makes the grab, gets the out. The Royals retire Lindor. We go to the second here in New York. No score. And uh, Salvador Perez is going to lead off the second inning against this right-hander Severino. Fastball swung on, hit well. Deep left center field, way back, and that ball is gone! Long home run to left center. Off the bat of Salvador Perez, his third of the year gives the Royals a 1-0 lead here in the second inning. Kyle Isbell with two on and two out. That will stay fair, and Severino had a bad angle, but he gets it to Alonzo. That's the inning. Alonzo got hit so hard he lost track of the outs. So he was checking to see what was going on at third <laughs> with Velasquez, but that's a final out of the inning. Well, nobody got hurt. That's the main thing. Last of the second, Royals won, Mets nothing. Pete Alonzo leads off for New York. Michael Walker's first pitch. Fastball lined up the middle. Base hit going into center field for Alonzo. Up the gap in left center, played by Isbell, the center fielder who flips it in, and Alonzo will hold on at first. After he and Isbell collided on that final play of the top of the second inning. Pasquantino down to second one. Junior back to first. Not in time. We are going to see a challenge from the Royals now. So the Royals have decided and Bill Duplissy is pretty good on these. So I wouldn't bet against Billy. Vinny has really worked so hard at first base. The left handed thrower in that situation has the better advantage as he fired down to Bobby. We're looking at the play on replay here and it looks like they got him by a hair. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you Stu watching it live. I thought he was out after review. The call at first base is overturned. The runner is out. Kansas City retains. The All of a sudden two outs nobody on. That's big is a very talented young hitter. Their young catcher Alvarez Denton swing and a high fly ball right field playable for Renfro coming in coming in and making the catch. And Waka faces the minimum. We go to inning number three here in New York. Royals lead it one nothing. The home half of the third against Kansas City right-hander and former Met Michael Waka. One nothing Royals. And Bader smacks one under right field for a base hit. This brings up Brandon Nimmo. Mets chasing one bottom three. Nimmo flew out to left his first time. Bader runs. The throw by Paris is a good one. And Bader's safe. He beat it. Sal Perez put it right on the money, but Bader has his second stolen base of the season. Well, Bader's in scoring position, the tying run. Two and two on Nimmo, two outs, bottom three. And Brandon strokes it into right center for a base hit. Bader around third. He'll come in to score. Nimmo heads for second. Isbell's throw is not in time. Brandon 
Nimmo ties the game with a two-out double. So the stolen base pays off. 1-1 game, bottom of the fourth inning. Two on, two out for McNeil, who's been hot. And it gets a curveball and lines up the other way for a base hit. Beatty will come in to score, and the Mets take the lead. Mets getting very aggressive early in the count. First pitch curveball, and McNeil drives in the run to put the Mets up 2-1. to one. Oh, I have not seen Jeff do that in a while. And now D.J. Stewart. The Mets have two runs on six hits. And now a broken back flare by Stewart to shallow right. That falls for a hit. Here comes Alvarez. The throw goes to second. It's an RBI single for D.J. Stewart. Sacrificed a bat to drive in a run, and it's 3-1 to one New York. We go to the fifth inning at City Field. Right now, New York has a 3-1 lead. Here is Witt. Frazier at second. Garcia at first. And he got him to chase strike three. Four strikeouts for Severino. No runs, no hits. Two walks, two left. Middle of the fifth. The Mets three, the Royals one. Last of the fifth inning at City Field. Mets three, Royals one. And here comes Lindor again. Francisco five out of 52 at the plate this year, but the crowd has decided, kind of got together on social media, hundreds of thousands of them, and decided, let's show them love the way the Phillies fans did to Trey Turner. Demo at first and one out. And Lindor takes one the other way for a base hit. And Francisco Lindor, only his fourth hit in 40 appearances against right-handed pitching. And the Mets have runners at first and second with one out. Pete Alonso coming up. And Pete hits one in the air to right field. Back goes Renfro. He's got it lined up, and he makes the catch. Nimmo's going to stay put. Boy, that is a real tribute to Hunter Renfro. That ball was hit deep enough to right field, and Nimmo goes to third against almost every other right fielder in the game. So two out and two on. Here's Brett Beatty, and he hits one toward the gap in right center. Isbell goes back, and he can't get it. It rolls to the wall. In the score is Nimmo. Lindor right behind him. Beatty stops at second with a two-run double, and it's five to one New York. Isbell was not playing particularly deep and he was playing toward left center. He tried to make up the ground, but he couldn't quite get there and Beatty drives in two. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Mets five, Kansas City one. Pete Alonzo leads off against the lefty Will Smith. And Pete drives one of the gap in left center field, headed toward the wall. It's out of here. Pete Alonzo with a line drive home run is fourth of the year. Six to one New York. That's very similar to the home run he hit in Atlanta. Line drive right in the gap. And Jorge Lopez will try and get the final three outs on what has been a terrific night for the Mets bullpen. One two coming. And he got him with a breaking ball. And Lopez strikes out Perez who had been six for nine against him and that's the first out of the night. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Lopez with back to back strikeouts to start the night. And the Royals are down to their final out. And Frazier lifts one to left field. Should be easy for Nimmo. And the ball game is over. Jorge Lopez gets the final three outs. Four scoreless innings for the Mets bullpen. 14 more hits for the Mets offense. And the Mets have now won six of their last eight as they beat the Royals and snap Kansas City's seven-game winning streak. Six to one the final. Sharp, clean game by the Mets.